Important breakthroughs are really essential in our ever-changing world of modern medicine and I feel really privileged that I can make a difference not just to a patient but also to their families that are affected too. We specialise in early phase clinical trials for all sorts of diseases. Again, a lot of our patients have um, rare diseases for which no or very few treatments exist. So the ultimate purpose is to develop new medicines for these patients and to develop them fast. We essentially are a clinic. So we have beds and nurses and look like a little hospital. And the people coming to us, the participants in our clinical trials, are either patients or healthy participants. When we started our careers, most of the drugs that were developed were chemicals that treated symptoms of diseases. Now the drugs that are coming through are often drugs that treat at the root cause of the disease. So for example, gene modifying treatments. Before drugs are put onto the market, they have to go through various phases of testing to actually test the safety and efficacy of the actual drug to see how it works, how well tolerated it is. We collect the data and that continues through the various different pipelines and um, testing a wider population. Clinical operations essentially is the heart of the company. After regulatory approvals and study setup, it all boils down to how well we carry the clinical trials out on the wards. I take pride in mentoring. I think it's um, important. The teams that I do supervise, um, the benefit is I've been in their shoes and I'm able to direct them and guide them. I'm a clinical research scientist on the Richmond Pharmacology Graduate Rotational Scheme. I get to rotate into the different areas around clinical trials and gain first-hand experience in each of those. Um, I spent one year actually on the wards and it was really interesting being able to interact with patients and gain a real-life understanding of how it practically runs on the ward. I was also lucky enough to be promoted to ward supervisor where I also enhanced my leadership skills. I then spent six months in study management, which is planning and running the trials. I've just moved into medical writing where I interact with research committees and the MHRA to gain and maintain approvals to keep our patients safe. The training that we need to provide to, to our younger colleagues is very much developing that skill to navigate a changing landscape all the time. So clinical pharmacology is a small discipline. So if you wish to pursue a career in this area, then you have to look for people who support you. We definitely see the value of apprenticeships and it's rewarding to see the differences make. Three years ago, I came to Richmond as an apprentice. After three years, I've been enrolled in a bachelor degree. We reached out to the University of Kent. So now he's with them and he's also working 80% with us. For us, it's very important to remove barriers people might face when they're contemplating a career in clinical pharmacology. I would like to one day do my own research on drug development, line manage and coordinate other clinical trials. I think Richmond Pharmacology is an ideal place to reach my goals. Research means that we're always uh, somewhere at the cutting edge uh, exploring something new. So the environment around us changes all the time and that's what makes our job so interesting.